Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, this is Makeup Brushes 101. Um, this is a very detailed video about my favorite brushes, why they're my favorite brushes, and how I use them. I did my full face using each brush and just kind of went over them in very great detail. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that little notification bell down at the bottom so you're informed every single time I upload a new video. But you can't do that unless you're subscribed. And hey, why not? You're already here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. And with that, let's just jump right into the video. All right, so I'm gonna jump straight into this and I'm going to apply my makeup as I go. So that way I can kind of show you how I use each brush and why I feel like it's important because these are brushes that I use daily. First off, I'm gonna say how to, I store mine. This is like, this is not just brushes, so bear with me. It's a little bit of everything, but mainly brushes, like the whole center's full on both sides. But I bought this at Walmart. It has even little like drawers here. Walmart for, I don't remember, I don't remember if it was 10 or $15. I will let you know down below in the description box. But I just thought it was perfect. And then I also got this because I have so many brushes, which also this has mascaras in it. But this also is mainly brushes, um, different sets and kinds. But that is how I store my brushes. I got this at Walmart too. I think it was on sale for like a dollar. That one, that teal container actually are the brushes that I don't use as often as I use the ones in the clear container. But all right, for starters, I'm going to talk about something that isn't even a brush at all. And I mean, I feel like this is just a huge staple to have in your beauty beauty regimen, your makeup collection, but it is the Beauty Blender. And this, even when I use a brush most of the time, I will go over it with this because I don't want to have no streaks. And for brushes, obviously the softer it is, like the bristles, the softer they are and not as scratchy, the better finish you'll have. I have a couple here. <clears throat> to show you like this is a small uh, the small size of the actual beauty blender I have two really affordable options I got both of these for less than five dollars at Walmart and this is the real techniques miracle sponge I'm not 100% sure how much this one costs but I will link it down below then I have the eco tools total perfecting blender these are all wet by the way but this one is $4.88 at Walmart. And these come in multi-packs. Like I had, I have two that I got for less than $10 in a pack of two. But I am going to apply some foundation. I did already use my Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer to prime my face. And I moisturized with my Lana Cream Hydrating Day Cream. But I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Let's give this another go. And I'm going to do half my face with the Beauty Blender and then we'll talk about brushes. two brushes but I have two foundation sponges or brushes that I recommend <clears throat> and these are the two that I always use and the reason why I have so many brushes is because it is a trial and error kind of thing like I buy a lot of brushes and you know brush kits and a lot of times I'll throw not throw I will put aside the ones I don't use which the teal container. The first one I'm going to talk about is it was one of my most loved brushes 
when I first got it, but I kind of found something else, which I will talk about in a few. But it is the Morphe E6 brush, and it's like this flat top, kind of like Kabuki brush. This is my MAC Hello Kitty Kabuki brush, and the only difference is, is this is a legitimate Kabuki. It is softer. The bristles are softer. These ones are more dense. There's more bristles in here. They're more compact, so it makes the, the bristles feel a little more stiff, but these are really soft. You see the difference? It's harder for me to comb through these bristles. And I do only use um, synthetic hair brushes just because that's just what I use. And the second brush that I always use, and this one is my all-time favorite brush for foundation, and that is my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. They are always sold out at Walmart with these. Um, a good subscription um, box to get is the Morphe Me from Live Glam. I will leave a uh, code down below so you guys can check that out. Uh, that's actually where I first tried my first Morphe brushes and it's where I actually got this and I love them. I love that subscription. It's only $20 a month and you get between three to eight brushes every month. Can't go wrong. Always Morphe brushes. But with this one, you can tell the difference is this one's more tapered at the top. Like this one's flat and this one is more like domed and rounded, right? But I just feel like this one gives you a better finish in the end. And these are not scratchy bristles. Both of them are very soft. This brush is only $6 at Walmart. I'll have to check, but I think it's only $6. And this one, you, I will link the site down below so you guys can check out Morphe's webpage which I'm sure you guys have heard about. But I'm going to apply the other half of my foundation using this brush. But on this side of my face, there is more coverage. That is the difference between a brush and a beauty blender. I always go over a brush with this. is just so I don't get those streaks but I always get more coverage because ultimately these do suck up a little more product like you can still kind of see a little bit of redness right here in this area compared to this area for concealer the brush that I would suggest and the ones that I use they a lot of them don't have a name because like I said it's trial and error and Ultimately, it doesn't matter where you get your brushes as long as they don't shed and they're of good value and just not completely janky and falling apart Use them if, if they work for you use them, but two that I have for concealer are Obviously, they're a little bit different in size <laughs> But it just depends this one is a little thicker and like a little more dense than the bristles but I feel like that is better for your inner corner and then there's this one that is a little more fluffier the bristles are longer obviously this is a little scratchier than the other one too but this one I feel like will be good for distributing product I don't use brushes typically but these are a good thing to have and I'm just gonna use my uh, Maybelline instant age rewind concealer
So as you could tell, obviously I went back in with my beauty blender over the top of that just because, <clears throat> as I said before, um, brushes kind of, they more like push the product around and rather than like blend them seamlessly into where you want them, especially on my forehead, you know, like you can't have no harsh lines because that would just look a little crazy. Setting powder, powder period, you need you a big fluffy powder brush. I have, <laughs> I have multiple, I have more in this canister, like, you know, of every kind of region, Eco Tools, Morphe, Moda Pro, all affordable, all amazing. So I'm going to use this one, because I like this one because it is more of, um, you know, it comes to a point, so you can kind of get into those harder areas, even though it is bigger. This puts it where I want it and then locks it in place and most of the time I take my beauty blender and will pack on the product to bake and then I will sweep it away with this every single time. Seriously, those brushes, it seems like the simplest <clears throat> routine, but it is definitely another staple, like big fluffy brushes. They come in almost every single kind of um, brush kit you can get. Like honestly, I've bought a lot of brushes off Wish, and you know, some of them are flop, and some of them are just I love, and some of the brushes I actually talk about today are from a Wish brush kit. I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> we are going to talk about contour and I have two brushes and they are totally different. Like I've never had two totally different brushes for the same exact thing in my life and that is um, for starters this one which is an elf contouring brush. This one is perfect to chisel out exactly where you want that contour like I'm gonna just use my Maybelline Master Contour Palette take the contour shade and like it just chisels out that line in your face like where right where you want your contour and this is amazing for beginners that don't really know how to contour or where to place a contour this just kind of does all the work for you after you find the hollow of your cheek this brush is like something that I don't know how I ever lived without I found this brush and yes it does leave a streak but the next brush I'm about to go in with will change that this is also perfect for right against that jawline to kind of make it more chiseled, more defined. I used to use my Japonesque brush, but you can see that this thing has had a lot of use. And these two are ultimately the same kind of brush, except this one is not as flimsy as this one. And honestly, I would like to have another one of these because I feel like it did, you know, kind of buff a little bit better and distribute the product better. But this one kind of just places it where you want it. It doesn't really like you know, make your contour look muddy or patchy and moves it where you want it and blends it nicely and makes sure it is right where you want it. It doesn't take it down, take it up too high. Like you, for me, a lot of times, you know, I see people use more like fluffier brushes for this, but for my contour, I want my contour directly in that hollow you know bronzer 
is for the fluffy brushes. But I'm gonna use this one on one side and this one on another, on the other. Alright, so for bronzer, the kind of brush I like to use is, which is most of the time a contouring brush, but personally, like, this is just what I like, and that is a fluffy tapered brush, like, angled brush, not tapered, I guess it is tapered too, but it is, um, angled, and this is a very fluffy brush, like, it's really not dense at all, but I like this for the fact that it really kind of gets the precision where you want it. Angle brushes, I feel like just are way more precise, period. You know, like, just if this was a fluffier brush, it would just kind of get the product everywhere with this. Like, you can go right where you want it. So, to make that, have that more, you know, polished look, rather than just kind of flown throwing everything on your face like I'm gonna use my Tarte uh, bronzer in Hotel Harris and I'm going to just show you what I do I have multiple of these but this one is just one I got out of a wish makeup brush kit and this is the Morphe this is the Morphe PK4 brush which is one I just used this one like you know especially since this one is a little bit thinner I feel like when you are done with your contour as well to set some which I'm actually just going to show you take some translucent powder and you kind of clean up that line some blushage. For this one I like my blush to kind of be, you know, not just like placed in one spot, and, you know. So that's why I use a big fluffy brush. Um, these ones, especially a tapered one like this, I feel like is perfect for, you know, placing the product in like not just setting it in one spot like if you were to use something like the ones I used for contour like you would just have a spot and I also think that <clears throat> a stipple brush I feel like a stipple brush is something else you should always have because it kind of I don't know like if I have used a stipple brush for multiple things I actually use one in my um tutorial on my Cheshire Cat Halloween tutorial so if you want to check it out, I will leave that up here. But I used it to kind of stipple stuff on. I cannot find that right now and it's really making me mad. But moving on. I love these brushes because first off, they feel so nice. And this is a Morphe PK14 brush. Um, I got all these, these pink ones, um, actually all my Morphe brushes, from the Morphe Me subscription. Like I said, leave it down below. But I'm just going to show you using my Too Faced Baba Don't Peach blush. Do you see like what I'm saying? Like when you want to apply your blush, especially to apple of the cheeks, like I drag mine back, but <clears throat> it doesn't just place it on the apple so you have this really 
intense crazy looking clown makeup circle on your cheek it you know moves the product around like obviously I swear my brush around but like even if you were just to kind of dab it on there I think it would look fine like it just gives you a good flush of color in these brushes like since they are so fluffy they do not pick up a whole ton of product at once so you're not just like intense boom a crazy makeup great if you hear snoring I'm sorry <laughs> anyways moving on to talk about my favorite favorite subject ever we all know what that's gonna be highlighter so the brushes obviously I'm gonna use my Tarte um, Anazonia clay highlighter in exposed because this is my hands down favorite highlighter ever so I have two brushes they're basically the same thing but one is just smaller I hate that I have a black shirt on so this one is an elf highlighting brush I love that a lot of these just like blatantly say what they are so I'm like what why am I saying what they are anyway um, this is a highlighting brush this one is bigger and fluffier so it kind of moves the product and like makes it blend into your skin all the way around and this one kind of just packs on exactly where you want it and this one came out of another brush kit from Wish and I absolutely love this I use this more often than any other brush that I have I think <laughs> because like I play with a lot of brushes and check out some new ones all the time but this one like it just has been one that has been well loved well loved but this one I use like every single day like obviously look you can see there's still a lot of product down there that's sad so sad but anyway I could probably just highlight with what's left on the brush. That's horrible, I see. You should probably wash your brushes. I'm pathetic. But anyway, <laughs> this one, like, most of the time what I'll do is I'll take this one and kind of just place some product, and then I'll take this one to kind of like, wha bam And these are good because, as well as they're tapered, they're both fluffy. Both of them. This one more so than this one. But... Like, I don't know why these are just so good, but they just are. Like, these ones just make your highlight look so beautiful. So beautiful. Let me just show you. Which you guys have all seen me do a million times, but... I'm gonna go with this one first. Do you see what I mean? It gives it that kick. Something that's really great um, because if you don't know really what you like and you don't really know anything about brows, um, I know that this is a big help and it is the Benefit Cabrow um, Gel Pomade Cream Gel Brow Color with Brush, whatever it's called. Um, it comes with almost like the perfect brow brush and you just and you twist off the top and there's the product like that is ingenious to me but even just this brush like I'm so picky about my brushes okay brushes that like I have so many of these little angled eyeliner brushes but like honestly I'm looking right here and I can find a bunch of them. I have just six right here, but my favorite is the elf one and I have three of them. This one being my oldest one and then I even bought the one with the spoolie on the end because the other two don't just so I didn't have to reach for my spoolies all the time which every woman should always have. 
like I have a bunch of spoolie brushes over here this is like the perfect eyebrow brush the shape of it the dense the density the everything about these brushes are to die for I recommend you picking one of these up and trying it for yourself because even though yes they all may seem the same they're not like you'll find one and when you find one you love you understand what I'm saying like it's just so hard for me to just explain it but these these they are technically labeled um, an angled eyeliner brush I fell in love with it for my eyebrows when I really started to kind of know how to do my eyebrows so instead of using this little guy which is great because this is kind of like one of those things you can try it before you go spend your money on a brush this one will give you like a pretty good idea of like these ones these ones are just bigger so I'm going to go ahead and shut up and do my eyebrows Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and do this all day because it literally took like five minutes of my time <clears throat> when we could be talking about brushes. Oh, gosh. She's lazy. You're so rude. Anyway, this also I wanted to say is such an easy tool to manipulate <clears throat> because of, I literally just touched that, but anyway because of the angle like you'll probably see me flip it flipping it flip it flip it like when I get to here sometimes especially on this side and right here like you gotta flip it and use it to your advantage it's just a wonderful invention thank you whoever made this okay so on a side now I'm not gonna use this but I just want to show you and this because this is not the best um, indication best indication of what you want but this is supposed to be I think an eyeliner brush this is just a sad excuse for an eyeliner brush something that came from wish one of those things I don't use but look at this this is so pathetic what the fuck is that Anyway, you know, I like the ones that come to a point to not fan out on the end for some weird reason. But these are great for people that don't know how to use felt tip. Felt tip or any kind of eyeliner thing, liquid eyeliner so that you know if you can't use the applicator with it I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding everything tonight but I have a gel liner somewhere floating around here actually I think it's in this drawer oh what do you know it's not in there either but anyway um it, these are great for you know really kind of learning where you want your eyeliner and getting the feel of things and honestly I wish I had one that wasn't crap because I would probably use that a lot more because I can never get my lines to look how I want them to look. So, I'll get you one of them, girl. This is sad because this isn't even all the ones I use all the time. But we're going to talk about... I can't even hold them all. Eyeshadow brushes. Okay. Oh my god, we're going to be here forever. I'm going to do a demonstration with these, okay? Okay. And I'm going to use the Tart Lip Toasted Palette because I want to. Let's start with 
blending grease brushes, okay? Because I have them in You can't even see them all. <laughs> These are just the ones I use in like one month, okay? I'm not gonna use all these, I'm gonna use a couple just because, but these are all from different places. They're all affordable. Affordable. Mata Pro. <clears throat> Drugstore. Morphe. This is no more than six bucks. Morphe. Elf. Morphe. And then these two are from Weesh. Okay, so I want to show you this one because it is a very thick, more dense, packed brush. I love this guy. For starters, what I like to usually do is I like to use this guy for my first two colors, which um, a lot of times I will take a flat brush or just my finger like this, and I will put some concealer on it and set my eyes and that's another thing I do like angled liner brushes for or these flat brushes is to carve out my brows which I did not do because this video is already getting pretty long I'm sure and yeah but yeah we can just talk about it it's good right anyway I would usually take this which let's just pretend I have concealer on and I use this guy to put it on and I'm gonna go into this palette and I'm going to take this color, which is some more. I'm going to set that all over my, all over my eye, not just my lid, everything. All right, and then using that same brush, I like to take a transition shade, and I'm going to use this color, which is no, sorry, this color, cashmere, and pop that into my crease. All right, moving on from this guy, even though I love him so fucking much. I'm gonna take this guy, which is a Morphe PK36 brush. This is a blender slash crease brush. It is extremely dirty because I use it every day. And I'm gonna take the color Warmth. And I'm gonna put that closer to my lid, right on top over that other shade Cashmere. These brushes are crucial because blending is crucial, okay? Otherwise you're gonna look like you just stacked a bunch of layers of eyeshadow on and look like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. Another thing is it's crucial to keep a light hand with these you see how I'm holding it at the end of the brush? That's another video, but coming soon. But just FYI. And then I like to take this guy, which is Morphe M576 brush. And I like to just blend both of those two colors that I just placed together. I'm sorry if everything is shaking. My vanity is a mess right now, even though I just organized. Bam. That's why that brush is always so clean because that's really all I ever use it for. Okay, and then I like to. Okay, and then I like to take either this guy, which is an e.l.f. contour brush. It is fluffier on the end than most, like how these ones get fluffy in the middle and go back to being thin at the top. And then I like to take this one as a Mata Pro brush, um, also available at Walmart 
these two they're two morphe brushes they are identical but just different sizes i like to use them for this one my elf one that i'm about to use and use them all for the same thing they are technically used for so many different things which like i said trial and error you have to play with brushes to learn what you like this is all preference up to me by the way <clears throat> you guys may like something totally different for the brushes that i use like you can want to use these for crease brushes but i'm telling you you don't want to do that that's one thing I think I, I think I I think I am right about. So, but you know you can use these for so many different things, smudging out the bottom. But I have brushes for certain things. That is why I'm talking about these brushes as I am. But like I said, you may want these for different things. Just all I can suggest to you is play with brushes. You can get cheap, affordable brushes everywhere. We will talk about that here shortly. But, going in with the skin, I'm going into the color Fireside, and I'm going to dab that in there, and I'm going to just work that in my outer V. These brushes, to me, all three of these ones I just spoke of, I just love for the simple fact that they they pack the product on, but they also don't pack it on to the point where you are like so overwhelmed with so much product that you can't really do nothing with it. It just kind of looks horrible and very just harsh and dark. Like this color is very, very dark. It is a very dark purple. But if you take a light hand, you can get it and manipulate it how you want. And that's where this Mata Bro brush can Mata Bro <laughs> Mata Pro brush comes in. I like to use this to take that purple color and kind of blend it out and blend it into my crease just a little bit without, you know, overbearing the crease with some purple. this brush and I will you know kind of blend those all together once more just to make sure it looks really nice and blended so usually I would take a flat small concealer brush and carve this out with concealer to get that nice clean area to put my shimmer. I'm just going to talk about this real quick. A flat brush, there's a difference between this one and this one. Okay, this one, you can tell, is completely flat. This one, on the other hand, is not. I feel like this is better for packing the shimmer on and this is better for carving out things this one is flimsier and easier to work with you could use either a flat brush is good for multiple things but this is just what I prefer the flatter for concealer the fatter for shimmer I'm going to take the color Sunrise or not sunrise candle this very champagne shimmer color and put that on my brush put that right on the inner part of my eyelid
And then I go back in with my Mata Pro brush and make sure there's no harsh lines between these two so they blend seamlessly together. And then these two brushes, I love for the same thing, but although at the same time, different reasons. I love this one for an inner corner highlight because it is very precise and it is like a small blending brush. You can also use this for out here on your outer V, but try on air, try on air because I liked it, but I didn't. And then I like this one to do my brow bone with, kind of just lays it down. This is more of a flat, kind of domed, tapered, I don't know, I just, I like them. I also like this one and this one for smudging out my waterline. I'm not picky about my waterline, it just depends on my day. So I'm going to go in with the color candle on the little guy. And then I'm going to go with the color sunrise with this one. Let me just tell you a quick tip too. Eyeshadow is also the biggest problem. Brushes can be amazing and you just absolutely don't love them if you are not using the right eyeshadow. Blendability is key. Remember that. All right, I'm gonna talk about these last three eye brushes. This one is obviously just a long angled eyeliner brush. I like that for really getting in right against your waterline for apparent obvious reasons. This one, which I have a bigger one as well, I like to smudge the waterline. They are very dense, the crystals are very much harder. This one smokes it out farther. This one's closer to the eye. It just depends on what I'm wearing that day and how I want my makeup to look. They're perfect for that. And then this one is perfect for smudging out eyeliner. You place the eyeliner and you just kind of smudge it in and out of the waterline. This, these kind of brushes are perfect. All of these brushes are from Wish, sets on Wish and actually these are the four different brush sets I got off Wish. So you can tell they're all different. That's what I'm saying. I found amazing brushes on in each one of those kits. And then in on the other hand, I found some that of those brushes I just despise and really didn't care for. So I'm gonna use these two to do my waterline. And that is it for the eyes. So I have the last thing on my list is lips. I do not use these very often. They are all dirty as I say that. I don't use these very often because most of the time I just use a liner or a liquid lipstick, lipstick, whatever, and just apply it and go. But I do like these for different reasons. Mainly like this one in the middle, which is from Eco Tools. I do like this for applying liner, like to put a liquid lipstick down and just make the liner because if you have a line, a good line, it makes it easier to apply your lipstick without going all crazy out of the lines. And then kind of like the same one with this, so these two liner, and then this one which is just a little bit wider. I like to take this and I like to ombre my lips with it. I will pack the color in the middle 
and then sometimes I'll use the brush to push it out which I'll do a demonstration in a minute and then other times I will just use my finger I just kind of apply it with this I just feel like it does give you more color if you use a brush so with that being said we are just going to go in with a really different set of lipsticks to totally different colors So, as you can tell, I wasn't as careful as I usually would be putting on liquid lipstick. I just kind of made the line and pushed the lipstick everywhere else because it just makes it easier, especially where days where, like a lot of times if I don't eat, I think I have um, high blood pressure and stuff that runs in my family, but I think that if I don't eat, I get real shaky, so this helps, you know, with the precision and not having crazy um, liner. Or lips because a lot of times even if I'm not shaky I just for some reason cannot get my lips to apply how I want them to these are also great for concealer if you do mess up you can take one of these and just hit the area that you messed up in and now I'm going to show you the other one with the lighter shade So obviously I'm not going to do my mascara because that is something that you, I don't think they have a brush for unless you just use a spoolie, so, but I think that is really literally the only thing that you can, you don't have a brush for, which, like I said, you could use a spoolie if you really wanted to, but why not just use the brush that comes with it and save your spoolie for your eyebrows. For a good brush cleaner and a cheap brush cleaner, elf. They do have a um, very affordable brush cleaner. It smells amazing, and I think it's only $3 at Walmart. Like, it's not something that you want to use just like to wash all your brushes with all the time. Obviously, take them to the sink and wash them with soap often. I do it at least once or twice a week, or not twice a week, once a week to once every other week. But as well as affordable brushes, um, I did mention a lot of them in this video, and I will leave everything down in the description box. Morphe's brushes are affordable. Lux Beauty, theirs are affordable. You know, um, Real Techniques, Eco Tools, Mata Pro, they're all drugstore, very affordable, amazing brushes. Check them out. That is a good way to start my first kit makeup brush set was eco tools and i actually still have it and i think i used some of them maybe not i don't know i still have them in this little container that i have sitting next to me and i use them all the time they are a very good brand and i do love their brushes for the higher end of the spectrum you know almost every single brand anymore has brushes tarte um anastasia beverly hills etc but two really amazing brush brands are It Cosmetics. Um, their brushes are extremely soft and amazing. And Sigma brushes. But those are just some great brands that I know of. Like I said, it doesn't matter as long as it is 
decent quality, does not shed, does not fall apart, isn't just complete junk, you can use almost any brush. You know, like I said, I bought a lot of brush kits off Wish when I was first starting to really get into makeup, and I found some amazing ones that I love, and I found some that I just eh, could do without. And I gave them to my friends, or they're just sitting somewhere, and probably will end up being given away eventually. But it is all trial and error. It is all perspective. It is all what you like. You know, don't go out and buy brushes based on what I think in this video. I mean, obviously, try what I like if you really want to know what if it works for you. But take some time, build up your collection. You know, it's not going to build overnight. Believe me, it's taken me a while. I have spent a lot of money and a lot of hours at work to make that money to buy the makeup and the brushes I have because it's my passion and it's what I love and I can always do better. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up if you like these videos and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye!